Thanks NordVPN for sponsoring this video. Mole is one of the greatest gifts from Mexico. If you've never had it, this is your chance. Because my version, anyone can make. And everything starts off with this, chicken quarters. Now just because I'm using this does not mean you have to use the same exact thing. Any kind of chicken works, even the good old chicken breast. Now the first thing to do is to get these nice and seasoned. And as you know, the master of all seasoning is salt. And I always like to season that separately from my rub. So after seasoning it properly with the salt, I went ahead and used Kuka's rub. Now I have been updating my rub recently. And as soon as it's good enough, I'll let you guys know. But you can always make the older version in the description down below. It is easy and absolutely free. As you can see, once done, the chicken was perfectly seasoned. Now the next thing to do is to go ahead and bag it up, vacuum seal it, and it is now ready for sous vide, which is perfect because it allows us time to go ahead and make our mole sauce. Now let me be completely honest with you. Mole can have up to a hundred ingredients. Yeah, if you want to make this from scratch, you gotta have all of those ingredients available to you. However, my version, there's a shortcut. And to make it, it is ridiculously easy and here's how. One of the most important important ingredient is this, Mexican style chocolate. As you can see, there are several different flavors. For your mole, you can really use any one you like, but I chose the cacao puro, which means pure cacao. Take a look at this thing. It's just gorgeous. And if you enjoy dark chocolate, oh man, you are in for a treat. And you can buy it online, which the link will be on the description for you. Now the next important one is this one, mole sauce. Now I know this is taking a shortcut. I've tried several moles before from several different restaurants. And if you compare this with the real deal, it will give you an incredible result and at the same time saving you hours looking for ingredients and also cooking them. Because the next thing to do is to combine the ingredients together. For that, into a sauce pot I threw in all of my mole sauce, followed by one and a half tablets of Mexican chocolate, then one half of a chicken bouillon, a huge tablespoon of peanut butter, and finish it off with natural chicken stock. Now I'm using the one that it comes from the sous vide bag. Every time I cook chicken, I save it. It is one of the most flavorful stock you can have. Now the key thing here is to go ahead and heat everything up and combine all of these ingredients together. Once the sauce has come down to a boil, you really want to tone down the heat. Remember, we got chocolate in here. And if you keep it under high heat and you don't stir it, it's going to turn out bitter. As once you are happy with the consistency, your mole sauce is done. You can always adjust with the amount of salt you need. However, for me, it was just perfect the way it was. Nothing else was added. As this is incredibly easy to make. And to say it's delicious, it's a complete understatement. Now, to make it a perfect meal, you got to add in some rice. And this one is quite special. But again, to make it, it's as easy as it gets. And here's how. I first started by adding 10 garlic cloves into my food processor. Added some Wagyu beef tallow into a pan, added my chopped up garlic and let it cook. As you know, garlic burns really quickly, so keeping it under low heat is very important. We're looking for this to turn nice golden brown, not black. Now for the rice, I'm using jasmine rice. Notice that it's extremely white right now. That's because it was washed and strained several times. Now combine that Wagyu fat together with the golden brown garlic into the rice. Mix everything together. Now if you want yours with a little bit of kick, add some chili flakes. Then mix everything well to combine, add in the right amount of water your rice cooker calls for, then into it it goes, close the lid, and after about 30 minutes you have the perfect delicious rice. I mean come on, it doesn't get any easier than this. And I'll tell you one thing, this rice is delicious. Topping it off with some pickled onions is basically a meal. And if you want to take it to the next level, just add in that mole sauce we just made. For even more earthy flavor, add in some sesame seeds. Now this is a perfect meal by itself, and the amount of flavor you get from this thing is ridiculous. But remember, we still gotta cook up that chicken, and for that I'll be doing so at 167 degrees Fahrenheit for 3 hours. And once this thing comes out, you're gonna see how good this meal actually is because we are about to flip out. Does that look good or what? But before we finish it, I want to thank today's sponsor, NordVPN. With NordVPN, I can access my favorite content from anywhere, even when I'm traveling, and change my virtual location with just a click. I can find streaming platforms at a lower price and choose from more than 5,500 servers in 59 countries. For example, if I'm in the US and I change my server location from the US to the UK, I have access to even more content, more shows and more movies on some streaming services like Netflix or Disney+. Plus. And I can see the content that I cannot see in the US. Or if I travel outside of the US, I can no longer access streaming services exclusive to the US like Hulu and with just a click I change my server location back to the US to access my favorite shows. Oh and all of this done securely without interruption and with an amazing speed. And none of that buffering we all hate. Get exclusive NordVPN deals with my link below. It is risk free with Nord's 30 day money back guarantee. And you can get bundles like the standard bundle with NordVPN and one month bonus or the plus which includes NordVPN, NordPass plus one month bonus or the complete bundle that includes NordVPN, 
Nord Pass, Nord Locker, and one month bonus in all products. So access my link to get a great promotion. Thank you NordVPN for sponsoring this video, but now let's get right back to it. Now I know by the color the mole doesn't look very appetizing and I 100% agree with you, but at the same time if you taste the flavors that is combined with this thing everybody, it is incredible. I mean it's literally a chocolate sauce that tastes amazing, but it's so much more than that, difficult to explain. With all that being said, the next step is quite important. You see when you take the chicken out of the sous vide bag, it's actually extremely moist and obviously it doesn't have a crust. And if you don't remove that moisture that is underneath the skin, you're not going to get a crispy skin. Yes, you can go ahead and sear it on the grill and it's going to be actually very nice. The other option is to use a flamethrower to get an incredible char. But if you want just a nice crispy skin and not overpowering, putting it in the oven in the broiler settings at the lowest one is actually the best. Giving it about 10 to 15 minutes until it's nicely golden brown is all you need. Because I know my chicken mole does not look that good right now. But watch this. All right, everybody, here we have our beautiful feast today. Very different than what we're used to. This looks really good. Wow, this kid is saying <laughs> that chicken looks good. If he's saying that, I guess it looks good, everybody. The one thing that I always look for whenever you make chicken, is there something to moisturize it? So, this is my take on mole. Let me say that again. My take on mole. All the Mexican friends, please go easy on me. This is a... Google creation. Correct. <laughs> All right. Even though I call it mole on the title or our thumbnail, this is my take. Without that being said, it's kind of like a chocolate sauce because he actually uses Mexican chocolate. It's not what I expected you to say. I'll say that much. Really? Yeah. Chocolate? No. Dark chocolate. So not sweet chocolate. It's like a dark chocolate. Okay. So now I want you to just mix everything together. Get a piece of that chicken and let me know. So far, it smells great. I know, right? It smells amazing. Sous vide chicken, perfectly cooked. Mix a little bit with the rice on the bottom. A little bite of everything, yeah? All right. Enough talking. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Ooh. Oh, that's nice. That is respectable, everybody. Might not be authentic, but God, damn, that is delicious. This is the best, the best chicken dish I've ever had. Wow, I'm surprised you say that. If every bite tastes like that. It is so many flavors, it's yeah. difficult to explain what it tastes like. It doesn't taste like chocolate. At all. No, no, no. Forget about chocolate, it does not taste like chocolate. And that's for sure, because he hates chocolate. Even though. even less dark chocolate. Who doesn't like chocolate? Theo. What the hell, Theo? I, I don't know why, but I just don't like chocolate. It is difficult to explain the flavor complexity of this dish, everybody, because there's so many things going on. This is very savory. Yes. It's not sweet, even though there's chocolate. It has some spiciness, but it has like a, I don't know, it has like a homey, flavor if you ask me like this yes it's something that it reminds you of something that you might have had once this dish is dynamite it, I'm actually very blown away by just the absolute depth of flavors that you get here the sauce it's it's like you said it's very hard to put my finger on it but it tastes very earthy it tastes a little bit bitter a little bit savory a little bit rich like there's so many things so many elements going on that it's it's really hard to pinpoint exactly what my favorite part of it is but it's just an overall really enjoyable experience and it's delicious i think the best description for a mole sauce is that mole equals mexican msg i don't know how else to describe it because the flavor is intense wonderful and it's difficult to explain msg right msg is like amazing and so is mole sauce everybody anyway guys these are the results i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did enjoy make sure you give it a thumbs up if you're not a subscriber be sure to subscribe for future videos remember if you are interested in anything i use everything's always on the description down below thank you so much for watching we'll see you guys on the next one take care everybody bye bye Ciao, guys.